of sacked out piss flaps and flat black coal rolling f***ing stacks. Me. I got really f***ing drunk last night. I smoked a bunch of dope till 5 in the morning. I ended up passing in the sewer pipe because it's kind of cramped back here. My back's been a little sore. But I still had to get up early this morning because I got responsibles now. Well, I got to bullshit with my boy last night. and Well, I had to run a few things by him. I says, uh, boy, does daddy need, need another K-Whopper? And he says, well, yeah. So... You know, you're gonna want to consult your six-year-old son for all your, uh, you know, your your vehicle needs. Boy says he needs another K Whopper. Guy needs another K Whopper. Story behind the old sweetheart I'm going to get is, uh, well, me and my buddy Dallas there over at Single Drive went on that trip called uh, Miles of Mayhem, and on our way back, I got to uh, looking around on the old fucking counterfeit Craigslist, and uh, all of a sudden there was another K Whopper that was a, uh, it's not a T800, it's a T400. But uh, it looked just like a T800, and it was for sale for just just a good deal that a guy couldn't pass up. Guy used to use it for hauling his fucking uh, core sampling fucking rig 500. When I figured, what better fucking rig for? Uh, well, maybe one day the old lady and I get a divorce and end up pounding in fucking one ton Tanya again. To produce a tank of such gargantuan proportions that it appeared an act of madness, weighing an astonishing 188 tons. Germany only managed to build two of these vehicles before the war ended. You're gonna need another flat deck. What happens if you get the old nuts of retard strong over a fucking sale at KFC and blow the wheels off the fucking bed truck? So you need another fucking truck. Gotta go pick up a few things first, but uh, today, today's gonna be a good day. Willard, did somebody microwave you when you were a puppy or what? Holy fuck are you stunned. Well, I got the slave leg pressures on the Oh man, gravity sucks when you're fat and crippled. We got slave leg pressures dialed in. Uh, gotta get a bunch of rest of the shit. Oh, maybe drink something to, uh, oh. Some fucking dodge is honking in my butthole. But, uh, maybe grab some things to cure this uh, headache and, uh, get on the go. We got all the old fucking K Whopper necessities. This shit, by the way. All right, well, these cans, it says 50% more on, right? And then this old fucking JD can says 80%. Cosby sauce. Didn't I just tell you not to drink it? <laughs> well, you know. tell me not. So I, I'm pretty sure this fucking shit right here is the stuff that all the stories were made out of about exploding because I've used this at a couple of the rigs around here and it uh, it, it gets a little snappy crackle pop down inside the, fucking, uh, inside the old boss's office there. So this stuff's really rowdy. This stuff gives her, but it doesn't give her like we got all this stupid gear. We got all the heavy known to fucking man. And I think we're ready to go. Oh, better grab one of these for the road. Oh. It's not eight o'clock in the morning. What a delicious treat. Uh, a little bit of the wrong oil is better than the uh, no oil. There's no more room in here. I'm gonna put the cab, but uh, we're, let's go. You guys smell that? Oh, it smells like sawed off and French mitters. It's, it definitely has a, this, oh, look at the rape candy band. It definitely has a distinct smell of sawed off French mitters. There's no way there's a sawed off French mitter around here though. Oh, that's what that smell was. Sawed off French So is it the Ford frame or is your box loose on the frame? Crazy car frame. That's the band. They're supposed to know. That's I a know. post. It's a crazy car. It's supposed to band. I don't think this is the right place. Uh. Oh yeah, this is the right place. He says go around back and and the old lady. Man, this, these people are men. They gave me pepperoni stick last time I was here. <laughs> Didn't even spray me with ether and had their way with my butthole. <laughs> I assume by pepperoni stick you had to suck the juice out of it. Whoa. You're not gonna not suck dirt of pepper on his dick. Hold on. Oh, my pants. You're gonna get that India? What do you mean, where's the truck? We just came to the field to put some D's and some A's. <laughs> oh man, did that smell good or what? Stings the nostrils. I'm gonna run the guy who just earned himself pepperoni stick. Oh, <laughs> it does. Look, look at this. You, you know, you, you need. That's many Kenworths. Uh, how many kilometers did I put on the other one? Just enough to drive back and forth drunk to neighbor's house. Put all of them on it. Exactly. This one here. Oh, you've got ramps. You made this oh yeah, you can load the truck right on the back of this prick. I mean, you don't have to worry about that air tank being right rotten. Alrighty, so here it is. 
Oh, just the best purchase ever. Last time I was here, it was drier than Pinocchio's packer out, so it didn't fucking burn the cocksucker down, but she's fucking mossy and do now. Look at that. Look at that sawed off. Oh, it's wet. I love it. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, well, I can pull the ranch open here. So this is a 1992 W400. Oh, you grabbing the fucking hood there? Three, two, one, give her. Oh. Ain't nothing like a caterpillar in you. She's got yellow cot power mill under the hood oh man this is sweet i mean it's a little bit rotten but it's not even that rotten how long has it been sitting what 10 12 years yeah it's been sitting long enough to sink up to the beads in the in the dirt there is there a key in it that's got all the mice in it is there like all the mice too oh yeah there's a key in it oh there's a key all right all i gotta do is add real heavy batteries i need to race oh the it's got the battery oh th those are some, those are gonna be good oh man i gotta fucking shit all right so first thing Fucking dock it, swap the batteries out. Okay. Put fuel filters on it. Was it got oil in it? I wonder what the, fuck the dipstick on this cocksucker. There's the fill. Oh, the oil's good. It reeks a little bit like diesel, but that's fine. I wonder how the diesel is in it. All right, I'm gonna have a smell of the 1202 here, sawed off. See how she smells. Oh, the 1202 is definitely struggling so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up and uh filters with new 1202 and let it run on that until the old 1202 cycles through the mill and makes it mint so you don't need to charge batteries. exactly so what we're gonna do here is just put a little bit of engine oil in here and then a little bit of diesel and that's just gonna help fucking make things lube up mint because uh 12 years of setting injectors are gonna be uh, a little struggling Ugh. We're dust controlling the field right now. Do you think it's gonna be uh, a craptacular start or do you think it's gonna dial right to life? Oh, it's probably just gonna start, but getting out of this spot might be a different start. Don't worry, we got a concrete truck out of a frozen shithole concrete yard. It took days. <laughs> yeah, but that truck, it was a crew cab longer, a long box, now it's just a little bit longer, you know? That truck still runs every day, fucking loyal. What, the, the, the pickup? The screw cab long box, it's yeah. It's a tragedy, I love that truck. Oh, it's a good truck. I would well, love to find one of those. What, one of my old ladies or one of my trucks? She broke my heart, so I broke her That's a good show. Man, she's got a Webasto on it. It doesn't work. Well, they never work. You can take a whip of the 1202 that's about to come out of the thing. Oh, this filter was ancient when this thing parked shot off get a whiff out of this here take a smell off of that is that good that's the good stuff yeah it's it? actually good oh yeah you should smell the tank the tank is not good the tank gets the sun on it right yeah oh yeah well that and she's not really pinched off the elements either right is the sun an element am i stunned oh fuel filter number two it's going to identify as an oil filter. Do you think this is going to be an interesting video or is this thing just going to dial right up? Oh, it's going to dial right up. Yeah, none of my videos are any good. But people seem to enjoy drinking beer and watching them. Fucking A, man. You sure? You used, to, you used to try a lot harder, I find. You sound like my wife. You used to put a lot more effort into our sex life, but now you just lay there and sweat. <laughs> well, this stuff's not... Oh, no, it's... It's turned into turpentine. We're just gonna pour it right into the old bird here. You don't need to worry about fuel filters being dumped into your fuel tank. But he wasn't even running purple in here. I mean, my Ford identifies as a tractor, so it runs on purple. You know, we've almost fucking done those batteries. The fat cripple's done the fucking fuel filters already. Yeah, well. well just tighten the fuck up. I thought you were a certified mechanic. I'm not certified at fuck all. Is there a fucking, there should be a fuel primer, like the old cat fuel primer on this fucking thing. I don't fucking see one. Oh, she's fucking hidden right behind the Webasto. What a terrible fucking place for that. <laughs> He's jacking his little weenus. Not at the table, Carlos. Oh, she's fucking hurting it up. There. Man, I think this thing's gonna fucking fire right off. So there's a couple things I didn't do. One of them being, I didn't even attempt to clean off the battery connection. That's fine. Hey, guess what I didn't do? I didn't check to see if there was any battery power in the batteries. <laughs> All right. 
So is she good to go? All right, well, let's see if she fucking cranks. Nothing. <laughs> you think there's a fucking night switch in it? There's no way there's a fucking, there's no clutch neutral safety. Oh, the fucking uh, Wabasto was turning on. He said that the water was running into this thing and causing the fuse panel to become <laughs> filled with water. Oh yeah, the water running out of there is good. Oh, the horn works. Oh, listen to that. Something's turning on. Oh, the, the, the dash is all coming to life. Is the fucking throttle stuck? Oh yeah, throttle's definitely <laughs> stuck. We have to rock that a bit. Boy. All right, just hose everything with 1202. That'll, that'll fucking do her up. All right, I'll go start rocking the, uh, the pedal a bit. Man, we should see if that Wabasto starts. I'm gonna hit the start on the Wabasto, ready? Oh, it's an S bar. It's not getting any better, no. Keep spraying the fuck out of it. It's good to have a fucking throttle that's permanently stuck on cruise control. Everything's soaked in 1202 now, so if it does light on fire, it's gonna be craptacular. Hold on, I'm gonna tighten the spring up. That's what I was gonna say, move the spring somewhere tighter. Yeah. Too bad women didn't have one of these things. You could just move it to a tighter spot. Well, they do. It's just you wear that one out too. <laughs> uh, backs out of the altar tater will probably do it, eh? This thing's just designed for mad ketchup right out of the gates. You don't need a return on your fucking throttle. All right, what the fuck? There she goes. <laughs> the horn works nice. The nice people that sell me these derelict trucks are probably like, fuck that guy's a grease fuck. All right, try it again. That's better, eh? Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, okay, turn the key off. It is off. On. The injection pump fucking clicking. All right, I'm gonna have to manually run the starter here, and then uh, I need a goddamn hat light. All right, so there's fucking exciter wire there. We're gonna have to give her the old uh, Letterman treatment, five hundred here. Hold on. Hey, saw it off. Letterman, I said. Yeah. Why? What's he got? Nordic? Or 1977 Ford? <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy is fucking mad. I wonder if he's coming up to fucking see if some derelict fuck with his shit. I wonder, I'm gonna try. Is it in fucking new iron bomb? Yeah. Open the floor! You got it to the mat? Yep. Final 
five hundred. Can you pour it into there? Or the can stack in the way. Don't stack in the way. All right. What we like to do is just put a bunch of engine oil in the fuel. What that's going to do is just really loop it up. Give her more, all of it. diesel with oil two reasons one it's gonna help the mill out second reason or third they were on it's gonna piss Greta right the off you have stolen my dreams and my childhood all right we'll see how it's making for wind not 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 a lot Oh, power steering's coming back to life. Oh, the yellow button's holding in. I don't know why, only at 30 piss eyes. Huh? How's the air pressure? It's not good. Either one of two things is fucked, either the governor or the, uh, the relief spring inside well, the head. it's leaking really bad. Is it, is it leaking bad? Well, I can hear it leaking right here, too. Can we shut it off for a sec? So hold off the truck. Let's shut it down just for a sec. Oh yeah, the there. Yeah, how bad is that leak? Is that a leak or a pour? Is that the only spot where it's leaking from? It's leaking from like a... A multitude of spots? No, like this is like a, a release you pull. Oh, your cock. Yeah, and uh, it's leaking from that. That's it? Well, that's the only place I can hear. That's pretty far. All right, well, we're just having a gander at the old air system here. Having a look at it. And he's got an M-style cock hanging off the back. All we have to do is plumb some air to it and should be a mint. We'll wind the whole system up and hopefully that brings the cunt presser back to life. We're gonna fire up the old slave lady cunt presser, bud. She's mint. Oh, it's mild. There's guns and shit in there. Of course there is. Guns are dangerous. I know. They might get out of there and shoot somebody. I just don't want some greasy hoodlum to steal my fucking gun. Get a job, you fucking greasy skids. Yeah, that sounds like about uh, 35 piss eyes. <laughs> All right, so fire up. Man, this is a compressor. stuck in the hole the brakes are seized right on i think it's both go in there and pull and push the, the yellow button push it in all the slacks and f-cams are moving huh. fucking man that must be because there's primary air circuits and secondary air circuits well, why is there no brakes let, let pull up on that Give it some wiggling, like some. <laughs> Is the button stuck down? Probably. We might have to give it some lube. Which I didn't bring. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even pouring out of there. Okay, it's pretty bad. So, there's two things that could be happening. First, 
Second thing, the, uh, the governor could be getting the air too soon and unloading the compressor or the unloader valve is stuck. So we're going to pull the unloader valve out of it and uh, clean that up and fiddle with the governor a little bit and see what happens. So you mean we're not far from the skid? Exactly. Oh, fucking just coming undone easy already. Oh, fuck. I don't even lie. You know way more about this than I do. There was a time when I worked on trucks. That's 2006 or 2007. Oh, don't catch me wrong. I'm stupid. I have no fucking clue. This is this thing was around before I started pulling wrenches on trucks. Hell, this thing's not even that much younger than I am. You got that can of fucking spray five hundred? Oh, just casually sitting on top. Oh yeah. Yeah, it wasn't even bolted down. Did you make that in the interior? Because it'll never make it back to your house. <laughs> Where the f did that can get go? The, it's still on the on the floor of the truck. Oh. Yeah. Well, I need it. Alrighty, well, we got a bunch of jerry cans back here for 1202. We got this old gun pressure. This thing always stays in the box, right? Oh, yeah, it loves it. <laughs> Shut her down! <laughs> so now we've got to add a bunch of fur, a bunch of floor, and a bunch of K-Whopper, and maybe a bubble rope in between, and see what the f*** happens. I got the fancy bubble rope this time. It's got ends on it and oh, everything. Jesus. That's a big boy. I got one that's twice the size of the <laughs> On there. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. So do you think the compressor's gonna fly out or they're gonna fly out? It's gonna fly out. All right, we can go. at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I mean, it's a good idea to durability test the uh, receiver hitch anyway. Like, we f***ed up the light, we f***ed up the intercooler, and I might f***ed up my receiver hitch. J just a little bit. Oh, yeah. You don't need all your receiver hitch. Ugh. The bounced off the headlight and went right into the windshield. Yeah, but you almost barely even died. Here, what do you got there? Oh, it's a fine. A used uh, tow package. Oh, it's barely even that fucked. This one's a lot slower than a lot of winches, but she's got a lot of get up and go. So I my receiver hitch. I got my receiver's receiver hitch. <laughs> the whole bumper off the board. That's fine. I'll drag you a little bit forward so I can get underneath and wail on it. Yeah. Those winches are f***ing If it had been the ones on the other side that were flat, it, it wouldn't have thrown much trouble. We're only spinning one wheel. Yeah, exactly.
Hey, son, uh, what happened to my receiver hitch? She's gone out of my life. You don't need to have a fucking receiver hitch. Man, these are not loggers boxes. This thing came with a receiver hitch welded onto it. I'm like, there's no way I'm leaving that on there. <laughs> hey, look at this thing. I'll have a brand new fancy pants shiny receiver hitch once I find one in the backyard. and It'll be good. Yeah, we'll be able to fucking lay in this hole and win these tires up. Wonder how they are. They're fine. I wonder, we're gonna have to ether the out of them, but don't worry. Shut up. The gun is just struggling. <laughs> the truck is now not going up. All right, let's try jacking off again. That's a safe sound out of the jack, right? <laughs> it's just seating. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we just trimmed down the golf cart tool. Oh, give her a reach around here. How much Cosby sauce are we going to give this tire? Too much, I would assume. That fucking new stuff's going to be rowdy. The John Deere stuff? Oh, yeah. I just fucking dropped it. Have you tried it? Uh, not for doing beads, but it really ether locks engines. Yeah, you, you get know. that old knocking and that tur slow turning sound. <laughs> You know the, uh, all the bad stories? I think they came from that Cosby sauce. Like the actual proper stuff. 80% ether. Or somebody's gonna get it tonight. That means she goes bang, bang. Oh uh, man, party time. It is party time. Um, yeah, fire up the wind machine. Is there anything on the pedal yet? Nothing. That's safe. Uh, we'll just um, move over a little bit so that tire is going to be in that hole. Yeah, I can see. And we'll put the other tire on the beam. All right. I had the brakes let go that easy. You did good. I had the wheel on him. But you know what? You know what, Tata? What? None of this is, this is all irrelevant after I die from this tire exploding. <laughs> I think it's actually miraculously good on fuel for it's just holding itself wide open. I took the governor right out of it. Well, like it, it goes right to rev pin is what I'm trying to say. Between the inside wheel. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> if, if, as long as you feel safe, that's all that matters, right? Fuck you. No, but you'll be more safe over there. I know. Oh, you don't want to be safe? I'm going to be laying under the truck cuddling with a giant dry rod of tire that's about to explode with the good stuff in it. It's barely even rotten. You guys are at my funeral. Oh, it's, your life was cut short. Sawed off like that it was. You know how many ether tires he'd ethered on? He's been... Gordo will be here for Sabrina. Oh, Gordo will be there for Sabrina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't even be in the ground yet, and he'll already be pounding one home. <laughs> well, single mom, right? Is that quarter mover up there? No. Is it in your pocket? Oh, it's right here in the, in the grass, right where I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> or you never would have found it again. My phone will start again. Pull on it. Nope, that works. Yeah. 
Engage the danger! Shake hands the danger. Boom! Oh, she went! Keep her holding! Yeah! I mean, she was only sitting for 12 years. So what are we looking at for oils here? This is, this is gear oil. We're gonna have to check dips. What's that? Got one more to eat there. Oh, this tire? <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is a safe one. All right, well, this was tranny. No, there, I mean. Well, let's have a smell. Let's have a smell here. Tranny. We might have to go get a bucket of gear oil and a bucket pump. And rear diff. Yeah, rear diff needs a little loving. And, oh, smell that gear oil, though. That's the good stuff. Yep. Hmm, all right, well, let's fucking die again. Go oh, yank that compressor. I'll fucking hose the cocksucker with the sauce and hopefully not die. <laughs> you just gotta use your rubber foot. <laughs> that would be great if it blew your fake leg off. Went flying off into the bush. Good gear oil in that one. A little grass on that, that's fine. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys that jerks off the trucks like old twin stick garage does, you know? That man see the Kenworth on his way home from work and then takes it out on his old lady's pisser. <laughs> what, did you, what did you say? What, that, what was that? Oh, well, I said it with all due respect. Hey, twin sticks in the comments. This 1990 K Whopper factory with aluminum rims, or I'm gonna get it that didn't. But, buddy, put steel, uh, aluminum runs on it. But it, it would have been hub pile. Steelies, I'm gonna guess, but I'm also stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, pouring Bruce Jenner oil out too. Uh, oh, we don't have to worry about the uh, doing a muffler delete. It's our nature. <laughs> nature's already done one for us here. Uh, we gotta figure out our service brake problem. You don't need service brakes. Wanna go for a drive first? <laughs> Pop that hood open, I'll start it. Yeah. Oil, eh? Brakes are dragging a little yeah. bit. Ready to get on site. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to take a while with that one. I work at site. I work at site. I drive truck. So she's been a couple of weeks now, and I finally got my fat ass back here. But uh, the intercooler and the front grill still hadn't healed up yet, so we might have to wait a little longer. But until then, I was gonna put this brake valve back in. It's a giant pile of fittery. And uh, well, after that, get the brake valve in, and then uh, see if she finally some brakes. I bet your hood's gonna blow over and out of my fat ass, but I mean, my head will be stuck in it. No big deal. All right, well that windbreak valve took my ass through town. Hard. 
What a fucking fiddler. You try to squeeze 200 pounds of fat cripple in between the frame rail and the leaf spring. Oh, my hobbling fat ass. So, but after a sawed off Frenchman's uh, work with the grinder and my work from underneath there, we got a brake pedal. Well, we got like two thirds of a brake pedal. Let's fire her up. She's going to be a cold start seeing how she's been sitting for uh, two weeks and she's been getting down to uh, oh, about minus six outside. Just a quick reminder that my nuts are on their way to freezing to the porch. I don't know what that guy does. Oh, there's so many things to remember and I'm stupid. Life is difficult when you're the dumb, but I don't know. That looks good. We'll just tighten those and see how much smoke comes out of things. You don't need to worry about all the smoke coming out of things. All right, turn the key on. All right, I want to a, a tickle on the old starter here. Trust Leatherman. Of course, he's fucking truck. You never put your tools away. You put your tools away, that'll give you false confidence that you're not fucking stupid. And, uh, well, it, it won't work. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Still holding wind? I don't know. Holding enough wind. Let's see what brakes do. You'll be able to actually hear them cam now. Uh. They work mint. How much procrastination I'm going to get this old K Whopper? All of it. Well, <laughs> I'm talking back and forth with the guy that uh, owns this, or used to own it, I guess I own it now, but that uh, used to own the old okay K-Whopper, and he was all right with me keeping her there for a little longer, but uh, I told him I'd give him till winter, or he would give me till winter until I went and get it, but uh, she's definitely like almost December, so I'm pretty sure uh, December can't really identify as uh, the summer anymore. Don't raise it! So we're gonna have to go out and get that K Whopper. Well, I have been busy as fuck. But a guy's got to go get thing already. Fucking mint. And I want to drive thing. So let's get my fat ass in gear and uh, go get the K Whopper. And there's only uh, three quarters of a fucking man here and uh, two trucks. So uh, I got to figure out a way to get both of them home at the same time. Before we go, though, let's do a stun check. Whether it comes. Sit. Sit. Are you stunned? You're stunned. Alrighty, so I made her back to this beautiful piece of dirt with this beautiful pile of K Whopper. We're going here. Hopefully, uh, 
Oh, the tires are still holding wind. Oh, that one's definitely not holding wind. Uh, that one's good, that one's good. You see this one here, good. That one's low, but not flat. Good, good. Man, you don't need to worry about how that receiver hitch is. Well, get her to go here, get her out of here. And I brought it in shit to uh, rig into the air system to hopefully blow that tire back up. But I need to give her, cause I only got like an hour and a half of daylight left. And this thing doesn't have the sweet fucking lick of lights on it. And my fat ass is hung over right now. Just struggling. Oh, we're gonna stop drinking all the time and trying to make bidges. I'm not. Quite... not. He's just, just hard on the old river. I mean, that's why you got two of them, for sakes, but we're gonna get this 14 mil to identify into the 916s and we should just chew trade out. I don't think we're gonna have any problems. The, uh, the guy that used to own this there, Larry, says that he took her for a rip to the field there. I guess his, uh, his grandson or his nephew or something. Mint, that's uh, that's good to hear. So, one, they were keeping her running, which is good. Oh, that brake pedal's fine. You don't need to worry about that pin probably falling out while you're driving. Just. But yeah, I guess they took her for a rip and uh, kept the carbon off the valve for a fella. So that's man. All right, well, let's engage the old Leatherman here and get her to go. Off of that tire, but I wonder if we can can use this socked out old receiver hitch. Just lift her up a little bit. That's all we need. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. There's barely even any jagged steel. Oh yeah, that's all the safety. Now that guy's flopping around like a wet fat flapjack titties. Now we'll just hook some wind on and give her all the way. Well, I don't have my sawed-off Frenchman with me. Hold this cocksucker on cruise control. So all I'm gonna do is just stick this on with the old dip tie method. And this dip tie doesn't smell like French either, so it's actually a better trade-off. All right, well, she's throwing wind to her. Now let's get either the cocksucker off of it and make it go boom. You don't need to worry about dying alone under a big truck. All right. How many times can a feather do this before one day it finally blows up in his face? We're probably gonna find out all the hard way. All right.
that ace ether sucks ass all right so if you guys are all about not around because ain't nobody got time for around john deere 80 percent ether all fucking cosby's party sauce in a can that's what you want to use this stuff's the good stuff oh a little fire there no big deal all right All right, that's probably too much. We're gonna give her here. Self can cover. Meat. No, we'll just let that flare off and air up and meat, meat. All right, well, if you guys are wondering why my voice is fucked up, well, I got to drinking last night, and then one thing led to another. Then I was driving over brush piles uh, with my dozer. You don't need to be on the fucking wagon. to go ahead and pull the license plate off my fur there and do a quick job of registering this whole K-Whopper. You don't need to use registration and insurance. Meat! These are real, real lightweight ramps. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, uh. Ain't enough get up and go, I guess. I think it's pants too. Did you just soil yourself? Maybe. All right, now this one. Why does this one seem higher? Oh, we're gonna have to go up top for that one. The key is to put it all in your groin and your back. Take your legs totally out of the equation. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. All right, so I'm really relying on the old Sunday afternoon permit here. What for, uh, well I've hauled home mobile homes that were 72 feet long with a pickup truck actually my nipple truck uh, with only one front brake I've towed home uh, big truck vans like a Reaper van I uh, towed one of those home with, uh, with a half ton or a uh, one ton furred and uh, you just do it on a Sunday and no one really gives a unless you get caught but there's way less chance of getting caught on a Sunday. So just remember, go down to your local Sunday and get yourself a Sunday permit and everything will be just fine. You don't have to worry about buying things and shit and registration and insurance. You only need insurance if you're gonna crash. It's fine. I don't, do I look like a woman to you? All right, well, let's give her all the way. Oh yeah, that thing's only like fucking five feet off the ground. We're golden. Meat! All right, well now I'm gonna blow a hemorrhoid out of my ass, pick the ramps up. Like my buddy Blueberry said, nothing like having a walnut hanging out of your ass when you go to lift up something heavy. Oh. Oh. Man. Alrighty, well we got her all loaded up. Look at the man, even tied her down. Jesus doesn't have to hold this one down. Oh yeah. And roll. I'd like to get you some views from outside, but my stupid magnet thing fell apart because of five minute epoxy that's what i get for not using jv well i still have no idea how to shift this thing but we'll figure it out granny shifting not double clutching like you should Hillbilly 
traffic time. I got about 45 minutes before the sun goes down. But what I'm gonna do is just give her all the way with my rubber foot until uh, I get to where I'm going. But uh, as long as I get to the dirt road before the sun goes down, we'll be golden. And I think we got this. This fucking whore just runs sassy. Fucking mint. It smells a little bit like burning, but that's fine. bud you all right no my head is bumping today man i got into the pc lights hard and next thing you know i'm doing fucking burnout we'll take a piss shotgun and a beer and next thing you know drove right through the fucking wall of the echo shack wife is pissed more than aspirin more than ibuprofen for the pain of traumatic injuries tylenol is recommended the most by doc want to go grab a 12 pack of pc lights bud oh yeah
when you pre-select to go down there's just a lot of grinding noises uh, and it's not even coming from me this time yeah that, that's not good that's fine you don't need all gears anyway oh wonderful another truck to find a spark and park a spot for Let's just back off here without dying quick. I think my receiver hitch is jammed in. My furby locked up and <laughs> not moving. That's bad. A bit of a departure angle on this hoor. But I'm gonna guess that the receiver hitch is fucking jammed in the dirt for creek. Alrighty, well there she goes. I didn't even drop my truck off the back. That's that's a win in there. Well that was quite trip wasn't it it may or may not have taken me at all between uh like what is it july and uh oh november to go get that old k whopper but i finally got done and i finally got her edited up but as much as i'd like to give all you man pricks at uh our patreon to shout out and open some presents with a chainsaw and we'll possibly get a little bit drunker i can't well for uh well right meow it's christmas day at about uh 2:30 in the a.m. So uh, I get a stuff fucker full of wood. Maybe head in the house, do the same thing to the old lady, and uh, have a merry Christmas with the uh, the boy in the morning. Got to go eat some milk and cookies, and eat all the rest of that shit. And uh, what for shooting that cocksucker fucking sky? How dare he ride around with all that meat in front of him? But I just wanted to say thank you to all you minty pricks for sticking around. Thanks to pile for all the patreons, and well, keep me uh, on the list for a liver transplant because. You know, why have two livers if you're not going to run the f out of them? Anyhow, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching this shit and uh, keep with your f ass. Mint. Did you guys hear that? That screech of snow underneath one legged guy's feet? That's the sound of the cold start season.